Vietnamese famous came over and they squashed all vestiges of the celebration of the culture. The Indian people weren't allowed to practice their own style, but their own music came out through the rhythms. And we played for each other just for therapy because it kept us from going insane and helped relieve the pain because music is very therapeutic that way. It helps the soul heal from its pain. We learn to be adaptive musically. And, and you, can, you can take a rhythm like one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five. Mariachi has always been very adaptable. But think about it. Guadalajara, Guadalajara, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, Guadalajara, Guadalajara. So it transferred those old indigenous rhythms in its adaptability. So even though the Indian people couldn't celebrate their music, it came in through vestiges. Mariachi music was Mexican, it was mestizo. It wasn't European waltzes or marches or polkas. And so the mariachi became the representation of the people's song. And since many of them were literate, revolutionary songs were, were stories told in music to help them remember what happened because when you memorize an event through a, the lyric, you can help remember the details from the placement of that syllable of the lyric. So, Knowing that empowers this next generation to have a sense of connection to that history. And so today in music, when a youngster is learning mariachi music, then we can maintain that culture, but it's important for me to see that maintenance through the next generation. Because when you make it interesting like that, you start to investigate the root. And I think people musically do that once they get into the music. What are the ingredients that make it interesting? And when they start tracing that, they understand the history. And in understanding the history, they can appreciate it more. One, two, three, one, two, oh,